Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizm underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This room is this one is from New Craft Day. I will leave all of their information in the description box down below along with a coupon code in case you are interested. We have an accessory and we have a cross stitch, both in which I am excited to show you, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I will start with the accessory, which is um, kind of hard to show, but um, so I got this, this magnifier. It uh, can sit on the table, and I think I might be able to clip it to like a cross stitch stand as well. The box came a little bit squished, um, but we'll go ahead and see. So I've been wanting one of these to try because um, some of my 28 counts are really hard to see, and I would really like to be able to use this. But specifically, I got this so I can give it to my mother-in-law who um, would who needs one of these. <laughs> so I got this to try out for her and if I like it then I will get one as well. Um, but I like this one because it is pluggable. You can plug it in. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can use it without plugging it in. I think it has to be a LED dual circuit desktop handheld folding magnifier. Um, eight LED lamps it says. I don't see yeah, charging cable. I don't know if you can like charge it up and then it it like stays charged and you can use it for a while or if you have to have it plugged in. So I am having it plugged in right now and I'll show you what it does. And when we do our stitch with me later on in the video, I'll use it. And then by then I should be able to know like if it holds a charge or if you have to have it plugged in. But for right now, I'll go ahead and show you what it is. So it came with a little cleaning cloth, which is really nice. So you can wipe it off and keep it clean. Um, and then it comes with a little uh, USB charger with a uh, like a phone like a phone jack at the end. Uh, so here's the thing, and it I haven't used this yet, so we're just gonna try and work it out together. So yeah, so it's got different adjustments, several different. So you can do this. This moves up and down, and then this moves up and down. It looks like I do see a possible spot for a battery. Yes, yeah, so you can put batteries in here um, to allow you to be able to use it. So um, it comes with, or it takes one, two, three AAA batteries um, if you don't want to plug it in and you want to try and charge it. Um, so there's that. I guess that answers that problem or that question. So multiple different like ways to move it around. It's supposed to be able to sit just flat on a table like this. Uh, here's the power button. Again, I haven't used this yet. Yeah, so it's not charged and there's no batteries in there, so I won't be able to show you. Um, uh, let me see. There we are. Uh, can, can you kind of see that? Yeah, so there's the light, um, and it has a little magnifying, and then so there's one setting, two settings, and then off. Um, but again, I'll show you more of that in later in the video when we do our stitch with me, because I'll try using it in the camera and see what it looks like. Um, but next up, we have a cross stitch pattern. So we have, of course, lots of crinkling. All right, so here is the pattern. I've had my eye on this pattern for a while, um, but I can only ever find it as a diamond painting. So I'm super excited that I finally found it as a cross, found it as a cross stitch. So it's just like a fantasy, like land type, type deal. It's got like a bunch of like, are those cherry blossoms? Like cherry blossom trees, I think. Um, but there, there should be, it is 40 by 50 and we have, so we have the pattern picture, the instructions here is the whole pattern and then it is on poster paper, which I like. I also like that this is big printed, um, so I can easily see the pattern so I can see that. Um, according to the stamped, stamped pattern though. Um, there seems to be like a lot of pink. Oh no, there isn't a lot of pink. Actually, the printing of this pattern is messed up. Um, interesting. So, it has like ink splotches on it. Um, there we go. And you can tell because there's like a little running spot from their printer. So we'll see um, if I have any problems that might be 
a problem <laughs> if I have any problems with the actual pattern itself. Okay, uh, this one came with a, a needle threader, a pom-pom with gold tip needles, and a thimble. And hopefully the pattern stamping is okay. <laughs> All right, um, here is the whole thing. Very, very small margins, but we do have it completely surged all the way around, so that's okay. It is also an uneven cut. As you can tell, it's shorter right here and bigger right here. Um, not a huge deal, but it definitely makes framing a little bit harder. Okay, so here's the whole thing. Um, it looks like 39 colors. I'm gonna quickly look at it to see if the stamping is okay. Yeah, so the stamping is good. So luckily that's that's a bonus, especially since the pattern, the printed pattern is kind of ruined. <laughs> it's still readable, but it's definitely hard. So here is a close up of the stamping. Very nice and neat. I can tell the difference between the orange and the pink and the red. Um, and the symbols are, they're not like super crisp. I've definitely had crisper, um, but they're totally, they're legible. Um, I won't have to like strain my eyes or anything for that. So there's that. And then again, they have 38 colors. So we'll have two um, floss cards. Now it looks like we have some extra colors as well. So we have a 939 and a 310 as extras. I love how my camera like shows, shows these. It makes it look just so nice and bright and you can tell like the actual color which is so cool <laughs> so there's the extras and then we have 38 colors and of course all of my favorite colors um which is why i'm probably drawn to this pattern so here is the extras on the other card and then we have 36 colors on this one so we got those ones right there. Greens, purples, and blues. Those, that's my jam. And gray. I like gray too. There we go. So that is it for this pattern. Again, I only got one pattern this time and then I got the accessory. Um, so we will go ahead and dive right into the stitch with me. This is the only one to stitch, so we'll stitch it. And then I'll also try and see if I can get the magnifying glass in camera. I've never used a magnifying glass for stitching before. I have used a light, so we'll go ahead and see what I can do. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it all works out. So uh, stay tuned in just a second. <laughs> All right, everyone, I am back. So I attempted to set up the magnifier and I could not stitch with it. Um, I don't know if it's because I wear glasses and I have, I'm not sure, but I had to have it like this far off of the fabric in order to be able to like see, like it did blow everything up, but I couldn't see anything. So we're just gonna stitch regular and I'll keep trying to play with it and I'll let you guys know in like another video um, if it was good. So we'll just have to keep working with it because I'm just not sure about that one. So uh, we're working on that. This is supposed to be like cherry blossoms, but it's all white. So we're gonna try and stitch that and stitch around it and see if the detail actually shows up. Um, and then if it doesn't, then I will UFO this. Um, it's weird that it's all like a white color instead of some like speckled in pink, but there might be like pink and stuff around it. So I'm not sure. We'll just have to play it by ear and see. So yeah, we'll go from here. So anyway, we're just gonna stitch this, see if any detail shows up and then I will know very quickly if this is not going to work out. That's one thing I like about when the stamping shows like, like more of the design like on here when you hold it far away because then you can tell like where you want to go. Um, yeah, you can you can tell what detail you want to stitch and just kind of go right there and then try it out. So. So yeah, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I have been so busy 
with all kinds of different appointments. I feel like I have barely stitched. Um, but I did um, start a quilt for my husband. I am uh, started making a Halloween quilt. So um, I've done a little bit of crafting. Um, not very much on the quilt though, and not very much cross stitch, so <laughs> I've just been too busy. Um, but one good thing about cross stitch is every stitch counts, so it really doesn't matter how much time you put into it, as long as you just stitch whenever your heart feels like it, and then there you go. Eventually things get finished. I just happen to like really big projects, so... They take a really long time to get done, so. So yeah, lots of stuff happening. Crazy, crazy baby, busy appointments, you know. You, you all know how it is. <laughs> but yeah. So hopefully, so hopefully I'll be able to do like an actual whip update video. Um, I haven't done one in a really long time because I just had the really giant whip parades. And then I also had just while I was doing those and editing those, I had a bunch of collabs. So we have a couple more collab videos and then I can start making like regular videos. I am going to start backing off on some of the collab videos. I am starting to get way too many patterns and, um, you know, running out of space to put them all, obviously. Hence, you know, like a bazillion patterns if you watch my whip read. So, um, I'm going to back off of those a little bit. I have like a couple more that are coming in or a few more coming in and, um, and then we're just going to do regular update stitching videos and stitch with me's and things like that. So I might do like a collab video every once in a while, like maybe keep one or two collabs and just do those every once in a while. But um, yeah, we really need to back off on the collab videos because if I keep starting new things, I'm never going to finish any of the other things. And I'm also running out of space, so I need to start finishing some stuff. So we'll have to pause on those. Um, and I've had to pause this video like a bazillion times to go get teeny tiny. So I'll have to pause again. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we're back. Man, I've had to pause this video like a bazillion times. Okay, uh, back to stitching the white. Hopefully I'm not too wiggly. I'm on a rocking chair with my stand with a crazy like weird setup. So anyway, here we are. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I would, uh, not to, I don't want to stop the clouds f forever and I don't want to stop them all together. I still want to have like a collab video here or there, but I do want to start, um, doing more like whip updates and more stitch with me's and things like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. So hopefully I can do that. And, um, yeah, I mean, I like, I like doing the collab videos. I know I have a lot of people that like to watch them, but we got to slow down a little bit because my house is only so big and, um, I really like to start the new things that I get just at least put like a couple hundred stitches into them. And, um, yeah, that's just not possible <laughs> to do that because there's too many. Um, so anyway. Hopefully, like I said, I have like a couple that are out uh, shipping already and then I'll do maybe, I don't know, so maybe we'll have like six or seven more like collab videos and then we'll take a small break and then we'll just have like one here, one there, like, and I want to do more like whip updates because I feel like I have not done a whip update in forever. But again, I did the whip parades and that's pretty much a whip update. You get to see my progress on everything like right then and there. So 
Anyway, I really like watching whip update video, just regular update videos, because I like to see everyone's stitching progress. So we're going to be doing some more of those. And I want to do longer stitch with me's than just like 10 or so minutes. Um, we'll see how that goes. I do have kiddos and I know everyone likes to hear the kiddos in the background, but I have a really hard time recording and stitching and taking care of the family all at the same time. So, you know, family comes first. So, yeah. Those are the plans for the near future. I also started journaling again, which I think will help. Um, I started like a whip rotation again. I used to have one before I had the baby. And um, then I got, of course, pregnant and sick and stopped stitching. And then I wasn't stitching for so long that I just wanted to stitch whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. Um, but I have started a whip rotation now. I guess I wouldn't really call it a rotation. Um, it's, I've picked a uh, like small amount of projects, like anywhere from seven to 12, 12 being the max number. And I'm basically just going to stitch on those projects until I feel like switching it up. So, um, other than that, I have no rules. Um, because I don't do good with rules and crafting. I, I just break the rules. So, um, so for example, my first whip rotation is my Nwashing Castle, my Cottage. Slytherin, uh, which has actually now been exchanged for Hufflepuff. Um, and I have my Beauty and the Beast. And I have, I don't have my journal with me, Treasure Island. And I have a new start that no one's really seen. Only a couple of people have seen it. Um, it's Over the Garden Wall. It is the frog and like a pumpkin dancer. And I think that's all that I have in this whip rotation. I think. And then the weekends, which for me are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I can stitch on whatever I want or whatever is like calling to me. So, uh, but during the week, I try and only work on whatever is in the whip rotation. So I might only work on one thing in that ro whip rotation and all the other like projects just sit there. But as long as I work on those and then I try really hard not to make any sort of changes unless I'm really just not feeling like stitching anything. Oh, and the, the tinkering girl is in there too or the tinkering witch or whatever she is. Girl, witch, both. So... All right, well, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm not um, done with the thread, but I used a really long thread, and this is stitching up very nicely. Although, again, I am a little curious as to why this is all, like, a whitish cream color instead of having, like, splotches of pink. Because I believe this, if I'm correct on where I am, um, I, I thought this was supposed to be, like, cherry blossoms. That might actually be over here instead. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But I'm going to just do like this area to see if the detail is there. And then if it is, I'll, I will continue with this project. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Sorry for all of the edits and pauses in this video. Kids be crazy. Um, thank you, New Craft Day, for sending these over to me. I really appreciate you as well. And I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.